Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be uh, finding the partial fraction for this given example. Uh, next step is to make sure that uh, the degree in the numerator is indeed less than the degree in the denominator. Now let's focus on the denominator this part. Okay, I want you to, we're going to factor this one out that can be easily factored. We will be using this fact. So this is the difference of two squares. We will be using this formula. So let's go ahead and put it down this x power four minus 16 right up here. Let's manipulate this thing a little bit. I'm gonna put down x power two and then power two and then four power two, that same as 16. Now I want you to Make sure that it x power 2 could be treated as like an a and 4 is like a b. Then this whole thing could be written as x square minus 4 times x square plus 4, isn't it? That's nice. Now I want you to look at this box over here. Isn't it this part? This could further be, uh, be factorized. So the possible factor is going to be for that one is going to be x square minus 4 could be written as x square minus 2 square, which is same as x minus 2 times x plus 2. So I want you to just put it down over here, x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 4. Piece of cake. Thus, our rational expression can be rewritten as the factors at the bottom like this thing. Let's go ahead and set it up for partial fraction. So at the bottom, just make sure that there are two linear factors and this is a quadratic factor. Whenever you have a linear factors, you just simply put down a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 2 but when you have this quadratic factor so we can write cx plus d divided by x square plus 4. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to get rid of these fractions. So in order to get rid of fractions we're going to multiply by this part whatever over here across the board. We're going to multiply. So let's go ahead and multiply x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 4. We're going to do the same thing for this one as well. x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 4. Likewise, x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 4. And finally, for this one as well, x minus 2 times x plus 2 times x square plus 4. Now, you can see one thing. This thing cancelled with this one. This cancelled with this one. This is done with this one. Likewise, this is cancelled with this one, this is gone with this one, this is gone with this one, and we ended up with x power 3 plus 3x square minus 12x plus 36 is equal to, on the right hand side, a times x plus 2 times x squared plus 4 plus b times x minus 2 times x squared plus 4 and finally cx plus d times simply x minus 2 times x plus 2. 
and we want to call this whole long equation as our equation number one just keep in your mind so the next step is we want to find the value of a b c and d and for that one we will be using a really simple kind of trick here is the simple trick Whatever you have, the linear factors x minus 2 and x plus 2, I separately set them equal to 0, and then x turns out to be equal to 2 and negative 2. This is what is going to help us. So I'm going to say at x equal to 2 first, like from here, plug it in in this our equation number 1. So once you plug it in, what's going to happen? So that's going to become... 2 power 3 plus 3, uh, 2 power 2 minus 12 times 2 plus 36 equal to A times 2 plus 2 times 2 square plus 4. And when you look at B part over here, you see 2 minus 2, that's going to give you 0. So we know whole thing is going to become 0. And likewise, in this next term, 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. So that means I can write b times 0 plus cx plus d times 0. So once you simplify that thing on the left hand side, this turns out to be 32 equals to 32a and this is 0 and 0 don't worry about that thing so a turns out to be equal to 1 likewise at x equals to negative 2 as you can see from here we're gonna plug it in our values in our equation number 1 after plugging in x equal to negative 2, we got this whole thing. And just once again, make sure that in our equation, number 1, a, see right now, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So no wonder I put down 0 over here. And likewise, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So if we simplify this thing, that's going to give you how much? On the left-hand side, is going to be a 64 equal to negative 32 b which tells us that b equal to simply negative 2. Now we need to find c and d and the only possible way to find c and d is to use this method that is called equate the coefficients so you're gonna watch and see how I'm going to do that one. So the very first thing what I'm going to do is on the right hand side, I want you to multiply these polynomials. When you multiply these one, what you're going to get? x power 3 plus 4x plus 2x squared plus 8. Likewise, I want you to put down b and multiply these one or just distribute these one how much you're gonna get this is you use a foil method x power 3 x power 3 plus 4 x minus 2 x square minus 8 and then plus you just put down c x plus d time this is gonna give you x square minus 4. Do you see that one? So let's go ahead and uh, just distribute this thing and this is what we're gonna get. You just distribute and we're gonna get and after the distribution this is what we got. You can see that thing. Now the next step what I want you to do is go ahead and look for x power 3 terms. x power 3, x power 3 and x power 3. I can combine these one. I can write down what? A plus B plus C 
times x power 3, isn't it? Now I want you to look at this x square terms. This is x square term and this is x square terms. I'm going to put it together. I can write plus 2a minus 2b plus d times x square. Now I want you to look at x term, which is this x term, and we have a this x term and this x term. I'm going to write down as plus as 4a plus 4b minus 4c times x and finally plus constant terms which is 8a minus 8b minus 4d. These are our constant terms and on the left hand side I can write x power 3 as 1x power 3 plus 3x square minus 12x plus 36. Now in this step we're gonna equate or compare the coefficients along with this thing. First I'm gonna go ahead and look at x square x power 3 x power 3 terms. Look at x power 3 term. What's going to give you on the left hand side? The coefficient for x power 3 on the left hand side is 1 and on the right hand side it is simply a plus b plus c. Now likewise I want to do for x square term. I'm going to do this one and that's going to give you what? On this side it's a 3, the coefficient and this side is 2a minus 2b plus d. For x variable, the on the left hand side, the coefficient is negative 12 equals to, on this side is 4a plus 4b minus 4c and for constant on the left hand side is just simply 36 equals to on this side is going to be 8a minus 8b minus 4d. So thus we got all these four equations and we already know that a equals to 1 and b equals to negative 2. I want to call this equation 2, I want to call this 3 this is f 4 and this one as 5. Now I want you to look at this equation number 2. We know that a is a is what? a is 1 and b is negative 2. c is going to we can easily figure out from here that is going to give us what? So 1 equals to a is already 1 plus b is negative 2 plus c and if you simplify you're going to see that one that c turns out to be simply 2. So now we're going to focus on this equation number 3. We're going to see what we're going to get over here. In this equation, equation number 3, we know a equals to 1 and b equals to negative 2. What happens? So 3 equals to, we got 2 times 1, a is 1, minus 2 times negative 2 plus d. When you simplify this thing, and that's going to give you d equals to a negative 3. Thus, in our this final step, we got a equals to 1, b equals to negative 2, c equals to 2, and d equal to negative 3. We're going to plug it in where a equals, we're going to replace it by 1, b we're going to replace it by negative 2, c we're going to replace it 
by 2 and d we're going to replace it by negative 3. So that is simply is going to give us 1 over x minus 2 plus negative 2 over x plus 2 plus 2x minus 3 over x squared plus 4. That is our complete par uh, partial fraction decomposition. Or we can just go one more step. 1 over x minus 2. This negative 2 you can write negative 2 over x plus 2 and plus 2x minus 3 over x squared plus 4. And that is your complete answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.